Joe here, Eat Sleep Boxing Replete. Delighted to be joined by Ben Crocker. Ben, uh, let's just get straight into it. That was a tough fight for you. Oh, that was my toughest fight to date, and I knew it was going to be a tough fight. Um, I was expect exactly what he'd done. I was expecting him to walk me down the first couple of rounds, let me try and blow myself out to see. But I'm not like that anyway. I picked the nice shots, and I knew the last two rounds he was going to come for me and fuck me that last round. He came for me. Talk us through that last round. We'll come back to the earlier part of the fight, but in that last round there, it seems like he came on strong and he was just, he's obviously there to push you and test you. Did he catch you at all? Did he have you worried? The only shot he caught me with was a body shot on the last 10 seconds because he comes in swinging. I thought he was going to follow up with a left hook, so I tried to roll under, but rather than a left hook, he came up with an uppercut and hit me right in the stomach, solar plex. Fuck me, felt it straight away. I heard the 10 seconds go. I was winded. I just tried to hold on to him then, but uh, yeah, definitely my toughest. My toughest fight, sorry guys. Hard to tell right now, but have you come away with any sort of injuries, anything you're worried about at the moment? Or? No, no, my, my shoulder's a bit dead. He smashed me in the shoulder as if I got a dead arm, but my hands are good. He had a solid head as well, but my hands are good, my face is good, so yeah, no injuries. And we talked there, he's a bit of a slow starter. In the first few rounds, he's he sort of... Is it... Do you feel like he's trying to bait you into wasting that energy? Because obviously you know how to sort of box and you also know how to fight as well. And with a crowd, sorry, Angelo's fighting in the background. With a crowd, is it is it difficult then to not get yourself in a bit too early? Um, I'd say that's what he tries to do. He tries to bait you in, catch your shots, you blow yourself out. But I've since I've turned pro, I've always been a start. Uh, I've always been the same. I haven't. The crowd don't get to me. I like the box. I pick my shots, and if the knock comes from, I got the power to knock people out. So if it comes, it comes. I don't need to really look for it. Um, but he, that's his game plan. He tries to blow pe get people to blow themselves out, and he puts it on in the last two rounds. Then, Ben, this puts you at ten and zero as a professional now. Um, where are you as a pro, in your in your own opinion, and where do you think you are right now in terms of standards? I'm ready for a title fight. So originally today was meant to be an eight rounder with a guy who was ranked within the top twenty in Britain. The fight didn't come off for whatever reason. Um, so I had all these offers for like. You know, no disrespect to anyone, nobody on my level, and even Gary said we're not fighting him, it's, it's, it's a pointless fight. So we had the offer for this guy, and we knew what he's about. I was like, yeah, let's do it. But it was a six round of the day, but it was a tough fight. But I think I'm ready now for a title. I know Lloyd Jermaine's got the Welsh title. I don't know how that fight now come off yet, so I won that fight. Or the Celtic title with Martin Harkin, I'll have that. Or any other, like a big, a big event. So I want something, you know what I mean? I want, I want to get out there now. Absolutely, and with big Welsh nights coming up, there's plenty of options for you. Ben, we're going to let you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for your time, and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Thanks for having me.